Hi folks, welcome to Nessie Tim. Today we're going to take a look at this Nikon D300 SLR digital SLR camera and we're also going to take a look at the 80 to 400 millimeter f4.5 5.6 AFD VR that's a vibration reduction lens uh, the, the AFD, the 80 to 400, has been discontinued. They don't make them. So trying to find one of these lenses in really nice mint condition, working perfect, can sometimes be um, a bit of a task. But they are out there. And guys, you know, you need to take care of your equipment, all right? Just like you need to take care of yourselves. So let's go and take a look at this lens right now. All right, as you can see, I have one over here. That's mine. And I have this one that looks like it's spoken for and a D300S. So this 80 to 400 millimeter, let's go and, let's go and show you what we have. All right, it's uh, 20, approximately 20 centimeters long when it's closed up at 80 mil. And when you extend it to 400 mil, it's approximately 26 centimeters long. All right. Now, uh, this, is, this is always a problem because... You know, when the lens is extended, it can be quite heavy, right, And in the front. But what's nice is certain cameras makes a perfect balance. I'm going to show you something right now, real quick. I'm going to be quick about this. Because this, I don't have much time on this video. So look at that. Look at that lovely balance. Yeah? That's a lovely balance with the D300S on there. Yeah? Look at that. It's a gorgeous balance. So anyway, let's go back into showing you this lens and all the features number one when I check a lens all right when I check a lens I make sure everything is bang on right okay I don't I don't I don't settle for garbage I make sure that that lens is clean and clear there's no fungus inside there I'm actually I get actually get upset when I think that there's somebody out there who's not caring for these lenses yeah you see how clean and clear that is all the way through it's gorgeous. That's a gorgeous. This is a gorgeous lens, and it's spoken for. I was gonna say, yes. When it, if it's cold and wet outside and damp, you know, a lot of you want to work in the damp, and then you put in your dry bag, and sometimes that that could create fogging, fogging, or but it doesn't cause with this one, but it can do. You know, eventually, if you take it out of the bag and, and condensation. So the best way to get rid of condensation is leave it outside the bag in uh, a, a, a stable climate, like your living room, all right? Give it one of these back and forth and it'll suck or blow out the uh, condensation, okay? All right, with an AFD, not an AFS, but with an AFD, they have an aperture collar ring, which is very handy. The AFD, lens this particular lens was for the Nikon F5 and, and and above so if you have a Nikon F5 this is a Nikon F5 can you see that right there film it's a film camera you know you want to it's a badass camera I'm telling you right off the bat this is a this is a gorgeous camera so going back here let me show you some of the things you need to know you got limit and full this is the more, this is a very difficult one to understand, okay? Like you can see that, right? The limit in full. If you want to limit the lens, you limit to a certain distance, okay? If you want to limit from, let's say, from five, you want to, you, you want all of infinity, but you want to limit it to, limit to five and a half meters. That way, the lens only focuses from infinity to five and a half. Now this is a good this is a good idea, okay? Because if you're trying to um, look, let's say a bird is flying in the sky or or perched on a tree or something like that, you don't want to sit there and and fiddle around with the lens going all the way to infinity and then all the way back to two meters. You don't need that, so you can limit it, so you can only get a short distance. But remember to take it off and put it in full mode, which is down there right put it in full mode if you know to rehunt you know so you know I'm gonna put it back in full mode okay so that's back in full all right and that in that way it goes it zooms all the way from two to infinity and you can also limit it if you want to have it for a shorter distance let's say if you took your lens and brought it down to its zero, its lowest number, and then limit. Now, you're limited to 
0 and 3.5 or whatever that is, okay? All right, 3 or 4, about 4 meters, okay? So again, and now you're free. Now here is, this is in manual mode. When I was doing this limiting, I was doing it in manual mode. You can do it in autofocus mode, but you got to be careful what you're doing and pay attention. Remember, you can slide from automatic to manual, automatic to manual with no problem. But if your finger slips and you grab the focusing and you accidentally put that on autofocus, or you accidentally put that from autofocus to manual mode, and you're like, oh my god, my lens is broke, it doesn't work anymore. Just remember, put it in lock if that's, if that's the type of character you are. Put it in lock mode, yeah, and then the lens is locked. You see, now when this lens is in lock mode on autofocus, the focusing doesn't work. That's because it's in autofocus. Let me show you that. Oh, <laughs> let me take this out of manual mode. You can also put your camera in manual mode, your D300S. See that? Well, you can see the, the lens zooming, focusing up and down, okay? So, you know, so if you want that over there, I'm bada boom, bada bing. So, that's the D300S. Uh, I think, oh, also this color. This color right here can be removed, all right? Let me show you something right here. It's all about the frame. So, you're, you're on, you have your lens set up on a tripod. You got the best tripod set up ever you know let's say your Wimbley system that which I love you know I mean look, I mean look at that look at that that's great isn't it um, you know what will make this look really nice let me take this this is a beautiful lens hood and it's genuine Nikon that's all I take I only accept genuine Nikon you pop that you match up the white and white you make sure it's centered right I mean laying on it flat don't lay it on crooked and then get it halfway and break it you know, line up the white dots and boom. You hear, you hear like a click, boom, a nice tight click. And now look at that, look at that, awesome. Yeah, and it balanced itself out. Yeah, that's a sweet system. So anyway, oh, the Kirk Enterprise plate is not included with this lens. You have to buy your own on that one. Okay, they can be quite costly. Oh, yes, the collar. You see this collar? This collar can be removed and put a Kirk Enterprise collar if you want to. Um, or you can just put a Kirk plate, but they do have collars that can be replaced. So let me show you how that works. Let's say you're photographing something and you want, and, and, and you know, the moon is kind of low, but you don't want the moon on like kind of an angle, or let's say you're bird in a tree on an angle. You want to kind of straighten out the frame. Well, that's what you do here. Did you see that? See how easy that was? Yeah? So when you're looking at the rectangular frame, when you're looking at the rectangular frame, you can change the frame. You get it? And that's what you're doing right there. You're changing the frame. And then you line up the white dots if you want it perfect and centered. So, vibration reduction. Look at that. That's another thing. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I don't think I did. You got on, you got semi, and you got off, okay? If you're going to photograph the moon, yeah, you don't need vibration reduction on. Yeah, you see? Yeah, you see? Yeah, I'm here? Okay. When you're looking at the moon, you don't need the vibration reduction on because the moon ain't running around, flying around. And it's also shouldn't be, you shouldn't be doing, oh, <laughs> unless you're going to do it by hand. So if you're going to do it by hand, which is going to be awkward, you will need the vibration reduction on. But if you're videoing something, you don't need it on if you have uh, good speed, good light, good ISO. When the vibration reduction is best to turn it on, when you turn that bad, bad boy on, vibration in full, not semi, okay, when you have it on, this is for when you're holding the lens and the length of the lens which is this is 400 mil 
and the shutter speed is less than one four hundredth of a second. Does that make sense? So if you're less than, if you're at four hundred mil, you want a speed faster than one four hundredth, like one five hundredth. The, 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 the camera will only say 500, 600, 640, 700, 800, 1000. That's the shutter speed you want, you know? And uh, just uh, let me move that over to the, okay? So, and, and let's say if you have the lens set at 80 mil, then 1 80th of a second is your slowest shutter speed. But if your shutter speed is if your shutter speed is less than 1 80th, you want the vibration reduction on. And if it's over 1 80th, you may be able to shut the vibration reduction off and use it by hand. It really depends on how good you are. And if you really got the jitters, I, I suggest keeping it on all the time. Anyway, um, that's that. Now, let's go back over here, folks. Let me put this, uh, let me loosen this collar. Let me set this back on uh oh okay all right there we go all right so there we go that's now i'm going to lock that in place i'm going to remove the lens and i'm going to show you a few things on the camera that you need to know oh when you're removing the lens hood you can just turn it twist it to put it back gently gently carefully yeah carefully Line it up, make sure it's nice and straight, and then bada boom. You see that? It's nice and even, nice and straight around, and then you can lock it, and it'll lock in place, okay? Now, the, um, the D300S comes with live video mode, and uh, I'm going to show you this right now with the, let me see, let's pop on a, a lens real quick. Okay, that focusing motor right there, 7 o'clock, is very important. If you don't have a, 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 an autofocus motor built inside your camera, you will not be able to use that lens. Alright, so quickly, I'm just going to show you two things. Um, right, live view. That's live view. Okay, now when your lens is in manual mode, right, let me put that in manual when your lens is in manual mode, you'll be able to focus it. And I say if you're focusing something like the moon, which is very far away, get it neck extra sharp using the live view. Then shut the live view off. Yeah? And then take the picture. Okay? And here's another thing you're going to need if you're shooting the moon. That right there. There's a button right here. And you turn this wheel. Okay? So you press that button. You see it moving? Yeah? And you put that on the little timer, which is right there. It looks like a little clock. It's round and it's got a little stick right there. A little clock right there. And you remember to push this button in and turn the wheel and you got your timer on there. And that, my friends, and, and the rest of the stuff, you need to start studying all these different things, shooting menu. Anyway, I'm going to have to let you go, guys. I have no more time left. You guys take care of yourself. I'm out of time. Be good to each other.